Hey guys, this is another uh, pollination. This is my, uh, this is the blaze, which is a very nice Lubivia hybrid. If, unfortunately, the flower is a little bit small, but it's still one of my favorites, you know. Um, I'll show you the flower a little bit, it's already closing, but it's beautiful. Here's another shot from it. As you can see, very beautiful hybrid. So, um, what I will do is I will collect pollen now and then I will pollinate it. I decided that I will pollinate it with, uh, with my uh, gorgeous Lobivia Densispina hybrid that I had yesterday. Um, it's a great parent. I mean, I don't know if, <laughs> if it passes down the genes correctly and, and is great, but it looks great. Alright, I brought me, uh, I disinfected my tools and uh, brought me a disinfected scissor now. And now I will collect pollen. These Lobivia often don't have pollen or, or not a lot. So it's definitely uh, nice to see that this, this flower has a little bit more than usual. Oh, it's so loud. I feel like, I don't know, if I'm getting older and, it, and I'm more annoyed by uh, motor sounds on, in the street. But since I'm working in the garden and since I, you know, I appreciate the silence and the birds and everything, um, I'm more annoyed by the, by the cars driving by and everything every day. But yeah, I mean, it's a necessity, you know. I need to move the camera a little bit. All right, this gives me more, more space. You need to be very careful that you don't cut away the, the stigma, because if you if you've cut that. Then you're done goofed. Then your your crosses will certainly fail. I already have a lot of uh, blaze pollen in the freezer, but um, I didn't make a lot of crosses with it this year. I don't know. I've just I, I have so many uh, good good hybrids, and it's a look that uh, that I um, I don't know. It's 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 a beautiful, gorgeous flower, but it's very very small. You know, it's tiny, and um, it's something that I would rather try to uh, breed out. You know, the smaller flower. I'd basically bring a bigger Lobivia hybrid in it and so yeah um, I try to I try to avoid using using parents that are really this small unfortunately that's very common with uh, Lobivias I've just punctured Punctured the flower at the base, but yeah, it will probably not not be a problem. Okay, this is enough, you know. Uh, like I said, I will probably not make that many crosses with it, anyways. So now I will get the pollen. All right, I ch I changed my mind. Um, I brought pollen of my of a hybrid between Lubivia Cesari and uh, Trichocerois candicans because I want to to have a hybrid between uh, Lobivia and Trichocerois so I want to bring this flower this um, this blaze flower into a Trichocerois and my Lobivia Cesari has a gorgeous flower like really really gorgeous top-notch amazing so
so um, yeah that's what we're doing okay guys and I will get some pollen and then we will we'll do this I really need to uh, need to make sure I I remember which flower this is because if it succeeds it's going to be awesome there's already one fruit ripening here and uh, yeah I'm very glad that uh, Last year this plant had like 30-40 flowers but it only had a few fruits and now it has dramatically reduced its flower. You know, this was, I don't know why, um, I probably need to fertilize it even more. But yeah, so this is the cross. Um, Blaze crossed with Lobivia Cesheri and Trichocerois Candicans. The, the Candicans hybrid with Lubivia Tesheri also has a much bigger flower than this. So it, uh, it would most likely uh, increase the flower size in the, in the next generation. Which is uh, what I hope. Okay guys, so this is, this is the end of the video. Just giving you a final shot of this huge, beautiful flower. Um, thanks for supporting us. You can, if you want to do more, if you want to make sure we don't uh, get our electricity turned off, you can uh, support us at patreoncom trichoceros It's really, really, um, we're we're building a really amazing, like, uh, YouTube channel and the whole the whole thing. We're making so much for the for the community. So if you want to give us something back, we'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Take care. Bye.